Disney is in the post-production phase of a very special film project that boasts a star-studded cast including some of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Mark your calendars, because Haunted Mansion is slated to hit a theater near you in August of 2023. So stay tuned and don't go away, because Stranger Things Winona Ryder joins the Haunted Mansion remake, as director Justin Simeon promises all the Easter eggs plus other related news. First up, what is Haunted Mansion about? Let's find out. Haunted Mansion will tell the story of a single mom named Gabby, played by the film star Rosario Dawson, who hires a tour guide, a psychic, a priest, and a historian to help exercise their new mansion, after learning it is inhabited by ghosts. Director Justin Simeon finds himself at the helm of this ambitious project, and comedy horror icon Winona Ryder has recently signed on as well, but the list of megastars doesn't end there. You can expect to see Jared Leto, Jamie Lee Curtis, Danny DeVito, Owen Wilson, Tiffany Haddish, Dan Levy, and many, many more. This supernatural comedy film follows Rosario Dawson's character Gabby, who along with her nine-year-old son is looking for a fresh start. While looking at homes for sale, Gabby stumbles across a mansion in New Orleans, and to her surprise, the abode is really cheap and affordable, well below the typical price range for a mansion. Is anyone else seeing a red flag? What's that old saying, if it's too good to be true, it probably is? Gabby resorts to hiring a paranormal tour guide Ben Mathias, played by actor Lakeith Stanfield, a psychic played by Tiffany Haddish, a priest played by Owen Wilson, and a historian played by Danny DeVito. She hopes that her team of eccentrics will be able to successfully exercise her new mansion. The film will feature classic references to the classic Disneyland ride, including Leto's character of the Hatbox Ghost. Jamie Lee Curtis will play the character Madame Leota. Next up, how does a Disneyland thrill ride become a feature-length motion? picture, you're about to find out. According to filmmaker Justin Simeon, there was just something about the ride that made him feel as though a feature-length script could be based on it, and Simeon wanted to be sure that all the Easter eggs are there because, well, he's a nerd. Part of the reason for Simeon's fascination with the ride is that he actually worked at Disneyland. In a recent interview, Simeon said, It was the best summer job I ever had. I used to ride the Haunted Mansion on breaks. Disney tried to adapt the theme park ride with the 2003 Eddie Murphy film The Haunted Mansion. The original film was directed by Rob Minkoff, who directed The Lion King and co-starred Marsha Thomason, Terrence Stamp, and Wallace Shawn. The film told the story of a realtor who becomes trapped in a haunted mansion. Unfortunately, when the film was released, it failed to get a warm reception. For instance, film critic Robert Kohler wrote, Mansion's drab comic strokes and narrative rendered the movie almost superfluous. Nonetheless, Eddie Murphy's presence and a certain built-in curiosity should bring out family looky-loos. Simeon's retelling Haunted Mansion is set to hit the theaters on March 10, 2023, and promises loads of spooky and wacky fun. Up next, are there any other blockbuster movies that are also theme park thrill rides? You bet. Sure, watching thrilling movies is great, but taking them for a ride is even better. Back in 1993, Steven Spielberg took audiences 65 million years into the past by bringing author Michael Crichton's original science fiction book to life. Welcome to Jurassic Park. The Jurassic Park River Adventure Ride is located at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure in Orlando, Florida, and Tokyo, Japan. The Jurassic Park River Adventure was inspired by an actual water-based scene in Michael Crichton's original book, but it failed to make the final cut in Steven Spielberg's 1993 blockbuster film. Riders glide through the famous gates of Jurassic Park and witness scenes of peaceful animatronic dinosaurs at the riverside, before coming face to face with a giant T-Rex flashing its terrifying teeth. An updated version of this thrill ride was modeled after the Jurassic World sequels and replaced this at the Sister Park in Hollywood, California. However, nothing beats the original ride, which at the time of this recording is still running in Orlando and Tokyo. If you ever head to Orlando or Tokyo, be sure to add this attraction to your daily planner. It's possible that you might encounter long lines, but it'll definitely be worth it in the end. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're about to reveal more movies that double as theme park thrill rides. Next up, do you have the guts to go on Saw the Ride? I think I might sit this one out. Saw the Ride is located in London, UK's Thorpe Park, and is not for the faint of heart or those with weak stomachs. If you're familiar with the brutality torturous horror franchise Saw, you won't be surprised to learn that this crazy ride comes with a lot of fake blood and body parts. And after all of that, you've got a frightening 100 degree drop that will take your breath away. The ride features videos from Billy the Puppet and references to iconic moments in the various movies. This ride is unique because such graphic horror films are very rarely considered for their own amusement park thrill rides because they have limited appeal compared to more family friendly themes. Let's face it, most 10 and 11 year olds aren't watching Saw. This horrifying thrill ride has been scaring fans since 2009, but now let's check out a movie-based thrill ride that's not quite as dark, introducing the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run at Disney Hollywood Studios, Florida. Galaxy's Edge is Disney's Star Wars-themed section of land, and is advertised not as a ride, but as an immersive experience that belongs to Star Wars franchises. So you're not exactly riding a Star Wars ride per se, but rather are part of Star Wars itself. The central attraction puts visitors in the seat of Han Solo's infamous Millennium Falcon, and it's essentially an interactive simulator. The ride has won rave reviews from critics for its attention to detail, and for happily fulfilling the dreams of Star Wars fans around the world, many of whom have fantasized about piloting Solo's Millennium Falcon for decades. At present, the Millennium Falcon is still located at Hollywood Studios in Florida, and yes, it's still operational. Up next, what does the Lego Ninjago movie and Fast and the Furious have in common? Well, nothing, but they both became awesome thrill rides. Ninjago the Ride is located in Legoland Windsor, UK. The Lego Ninjago movie was a huge hit with audiences a few years back, coming off of the fresh success of the Lego movie and the Lego Batman movie. Ninjago has 
has a fast-paced interactive ride that involves shooting at various targets using only your hands. At the time of this recording, Ninjago is still operating, but face coverings may be required on the ride. For the next ride featured on our list, you're gonna wanna buckle up. Get ready for Fast and the Furious Supercharged. This intense thrill ride is located at Universal Studios Hollywood, California. The purpose of the Fast and the Furious Supercharged ride is to offer fans of the franchise an opportunity to go on an adventure with the stars of the film, which is exactly what Supercharged is all about. A-listers Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez, and Dwayne Johnson interrupt the traditional studio tram ride to take you to a world of underground parties and high-speed chases. It's so realistic and intense that you'll think you're actually on set. Some theme park aficionados who are a tad picky have criticized the ride's use of high-definition screens over traditional animatronics, but the ride does give you a chance to see more of the world's favorite road action series. Finally, do you want to travel to Gotham City? If so, you'll need to catch a flight to Queensland, Australia. And the land down under is a theme park ride called Arkham Asylum Shock Therapy, located at Warner Brothers Movie World in the gorgeous city of Queensland. Unfortunately, the ride was decommissioned during the COVID-19 pandemic, but you never know, it could be operational again someday, and it definitely deserves a place on our list. Arkham Asylum Shock Therapy offered riders the chance to see the ride both in real life and via virtual reality goggles, which transports riders to Gotham City while on the ride itself. Super cool, and it's a must-see for any Batman superfan. Hopefully someday the ride will be operational again, because it was seriously awesome, fingers crossed. But for now, let's catch a flight from Queensland to sunny Universal Studios, Florida, for one of the coolest theme park rides ever, introducing the Simpsons ride. When Universal Studios canceled the famed Back to the Future Simulator ride, many people were bummed out. It was an iconic attraction that had been a staple of Universal Studios for years. Thankfully, Universal Studios executives knew just what to do to turn the frowns of the theme park goers upside down. They created the Simpsons ride. Placed in the middle of a Springfield themed area of the park, guests find themselves in the world of Krusty Land, which has been sabotaged by Sideshow Bob. It's a big ride for an equally huge TV and movie franchise. And today, the Simpsons ride is a must-see attraction for any theme park fan. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching.